The Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigades is a coalition of Palestinian armed groups in the West Bank. The organization has been designated as a terrorist organization by Israel, the European Union, Canada, Japan, New Zealand, and the United States. Arafat and Futter, the leadership of the brigades, and average members have identified themselves as the military wing of Futter. On their website and on posters, they post the Futter emblem. The leadership of Futter has said they never made a decision either to create the brigades or make them the militant wing of Futter. Since 2002, some leaders in Futter have reportedly tried to get the brigades to stop attacking civilians. In November 2003, BBC journalists uncovered a payment by Futter of $50,000 a month to Al Aqsa. This investigation, combined with the documents found by the Israel Defense Forces, led the government of Israel to draw the conclusion that the Al Aqsa martyrs brigades have always been directly funded by Yasser Arafat. In June 2004, then-Palestinian Prime Minister Ahmed Karay openly stated this. We have clearly declared that the AKSA Martyrs Brigades are part of Futter. We are committed to them and Futter bears full responsibility for the group. In July, he further declared the Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigades. Military wing of the Futter movement will not be dissolved and Futter will never relinquish its military wing. On 18 December 2003, Futter asked the leaders of the Al Aqsa Martyrs Brigades to join the Futter Council, recognizing it officially as part of the Futter organization. Activities The Al Aqsa Brigades are responsible for dozens of suicide bombings and many or shooting attacks against Israeli vehicles in the West Bank. For a complete list of the suicide bombings carried out by the organization, see List of Palestinian Suicide Attacks. Some notable suicide bombings committed by the group were January 2002, Bat Mitzvah Massacre, when a gunman killed six and wounded 33 in a Bat Mitzvah celebration. The 19th of February 2002, an attack on an IDF checkpoint at Ein Arik, near Ramallah, where one officer and five soldiers were killed. The 3rd of March 2002, an attack by a single sniper on an IDF checkpoint at Wadi El Haramia, near Ofra, where two officers and five soldiers were killed and five soldiers wounded. Three civilian settlers were also killed in the incident. The 2nd of March 2002, Beit Yisrael, Jerusalem 11 killed. The 5th of January 2003, Southern Tel Aviv Central Bus Station 22 killed. The 29th of January 2004, Rehavia, Jerusalem, Bus Line 19 to 11 killed. The 14th of March 2004, Port of Ashdod 10 killed. On the 16th of October 2005, the Al Aqsa Martyrs Brigades claimed responsibility for a shooting attack at the Gush Etchen Junction, killing three Israelis and wounding three others. On 24 March 2004, a Palestinian teenager named Hissam Abdo was caught in an IDF checkpoint carrying an explosive belt. Following his arrest, an Al Aqsa Martyrs Brigade teenager's militant cell was exposed and arrested in Nablus. On 23 September 2004, a 15-year-old suicide bomber was arrested by Israeli security forces. The brigades, like many militia groups, is noted for the use of promotional posters in the main cities of the Palestinian territories. The brigades have attacked Palestinians as well as Israelis. In November and December 2003, they killed the brother of Ghassan Shakar. In February 2004 Shakar filed his resignation from office in protest of the Palestinian Authority's lack of action against the armed militias, rampaging the city. During the first three months of 2004, a number of attacks on journalists in the West Bank and Gaza Strip were blamed on the brigades as well, including the attack on the Arab television station Al Arabia's West Bank offices by masked men who identified themselves as members of the brigades. 
Palestinian journalists in Gaza called a general strike on 0 February 2004 to protest this rising violence against journalists. The Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigades have taken prominent part in the July 2004 riots in the Gaza Strip, in which Palestinian officers were kidnapped and par security headquarters buildings and policemen were attacked by gunmen. These riots led the Palestinian cabinet to declare a state of emergency. One media outlet described the situation in the Palestinian Authority as anarchy and chaos. The Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigades have carried out several joint attacks with the Islamist group Hamas. These attacks were committed mainly in the Gaza Strip, see also, PLO and Hamas. The Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigades have also carried out joint attack with other militant groups such as Palestinian Islamic Jihad, the Popular Resistance Committees and with Hezbollah in the West Bank. The European Union's Gaza officers were raided by 15 masked gunmen from Al-Aqsa USA Martyrs Brigades on 30 January 2006. They demanded apologies from Denmark and Norway regarding the Gillens Post and Mohammed cartoons and left 30 minutes later without shots fired or injuries. On 9 June 2007, in a failed assault on an IDF position at the Kosafim crossing between Gaza and Israel in a possible attempt to kidnap IDF soldiers, four armed members of the Al-Quds Brigades, the military wing of Islamic Jihad, and the al USA Martyrs Brigades, the military wing of Futter used a vehicle marked with TV and press insignias penetrated the border defense and assaulted her guard tower in what Islamic Jihad and the army said was a failed attempt to capture an Israeli soldier. IDF troops killed one militant while the others escaped. The use of a vehicle that resembled a press vehicle evoked a sharp response from many journalists and news organizations including the Foreign Press Association and Human Rights Watch. On 14 July 2007, Zakaria Zubidi, considered the local Al-Aqsa leader for Janine and the Northern West Bank and has been wanted for many years for his armed activity against Israel, he agreed to cease fighting against Israel after Prime Minister Ehud Olmert gave conditional pardon for 178 prisoners from the Par territories. Amnesty deal. In July 2007, Israel and the Palestinian Authority reached an amnesty deal under which 178 al USA gunmen surrendered their arms to the Palestinian Authority, renounced future anti-Israel violence and were permitted to join Palestinian security forces. Later agreements in 2007 and 2008 added more gunmen to the list of those granted amnesty in exchange for ending violence, eventually bringing the total to over 300. On the 22nd of August 2007, according to Arutz Shiva, Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigade announced that it was backing out of its commitment and promised to refrain from attacks against Israel and the Israeli backed amnesty deal giving amnesty to 178 Al-Aqsa gunmen who agreed to stop militant activities against Israel and surrender their weapons. Al-Aqsa said that it backed out of the deal due to the IDF's arrest of two militants who were supposed to be on the amnesty list. According to the IDF, they said they caught the two men at a checkpoint and said they were involved in terrorist activity, which consequently mandated their arrest. According to the stipulations of the amnesty deal, shortly after backing out of the amnesty deal and its promise of stopping to attack Israel that Al-Aqsa agreed to a month earlier, Al-Aqsa gunmen in Gaza have announced that they are starting to launch hundreds of rockets and mortar shells at Israeli towns and cities and named the campaign Hole in the Wall 2 members. NAIF Abu Shara, local commander in Nablus, Fadi Kafisha, former head of the Tanzim in Nablus, killed by IDF in 2006, Siren Siren, responsible for killing five people, including a mother and her two children in Kibbutz Metza, 
killed by Yamam in 2003. Zakaria Zubidi, local commander in Janine, known for his relationship with Israeli far-left activist Tali Fahima. Popular culture. In the Sasha Baron Cohen movie Bruno, the character Bruno interviewed Palestinian Christian Amon Abu Aita, who was portrayed in the movie as a leader of the militant group. The group released a statement to a Jerusalem-based journalist saying that it was very upset that it had been featured in the film. Abu Aita insists that he was tricked into appearing in the film and that he has never been involved with the Martyrs Brigades. In an interview with Time, Abu Aita stated, It is true that I was jailed in 2003. I was active in resisting the occupation. In non-violent ways, after a clip of the interview was played on The Late Show with David Letterman, Eamon called Baron Cohen a big liar. Abu Aita subsequently filed a $110 million lawsuit against Baron Cohen and David Letterman.